I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Taurus. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Taurus, be sure to give me a like and subscribe in this video, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always be super appreciative of when you guys take the extra time to do that for me, Taurus. As well, Taurus, I want to know what cards resonate with you in the comments below, because that's how I keep up, keep up with y'all, is through the comments. Taurus. And if you hear cats meowing, um, those are mine. I promise you, it's not, you're not hearing things. Um, just want to say that. Um, so yeah, Taurus, and before I get into this reading as well, um, I just want to say that when it comes to my weekly general tarot readings, at least, um, I feel like tarot cards to readings should be here, Taurus, to give you some perspective, some food for thought, but not really here to make a decision in your life, Taurus, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these cards, no one's, right? So with all that in mind, Taurus, let's just get into your weekly general tarot reading. Now we're going to get into your objective card for this week right off the bat because it's my favorite card. Uh, it is the Fool card for you, Taurus. Now when this card steps forward to you for your objective, this is the energy that you're going to be in this week and this is the energy that you should truly strive to maintain being in, Taurus. Uh, I say this because with this type of dynamic, it's showing to me like a calling for a Taurus to start being a little bit more daring, a little bit more open to uh, new opportunities, new, not opportunities, but new beginnings. More so even in a sense of um, start asking the question like what if Taurus and start entertaining that what if in a positive way, not in a negative way, of course, right? Um, like, what if something actually worked out? What if, you know, this new person comes into your life, this opportunity comes into your life, page of cups flying out, right? Pages represents new beginnings, cups represent either like an actual deepening of a connection, a connection coming forward, or just like with cups and the can be as well is just about, um, opportunity setting itself up for you so if you have like a new beginning don't mind me Taurus I'm like trying to find I feel so naked <laughs> right now without having like a necklace on so it's like bothering me but I guess we'll just have to do um things no one cares about so it's interesting to have these cards kind of like set up in such a way let's look into this more knight of pentacles getting out of your comfort zone taurus there is this yeah there is this common theme getting out of your comfort zone the hierophant with the page of pentacles interesting taurus dare i say i'm gonna have to call some of you guys out taurus because i get this kind of indication that some of you guys are like with this hierophant here you know there's something for your greater good right you know that there's like this thing that would suit you and just be like really i don't know there's almost just like this um idea taurus where it's like you know you would be really happy if you took up at some type of opportunity but there's some type of resistance in being this fool there's some type of resistance towards um, going into these uncharted territories as this Knight of Pentacles. Um, maybe it's because it's like a, you would have to commit to something for a long period of time, Taurus. Or maybe because it's just like the unknown, right? When it is uncharted territory, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, you don't know how it's going to look. You can't really paint out the details. But the thing is, Taurus, you have two pages coming in page of pentacles and page of cups you know page of pentacle page of pentacles when it comes to like a social reading uh taurus you would kind of see this as someone trying to offer their pentacle to you some type of line of communication but in this dynamic i just kind of get the sense taurus of where it's like some of you guys have the opportunity to just like wipe the slate clean with some as either some aspect or facet of your life taurus or just in your life in general um with these two pages it's really powerful and speaking to me in that for some type of taurus you have this opportunity to really be the fool to really um what some people would i guess describe as being reckless 
but I don't see it as being reckless. And I don't think you see it as being reckless either, Taurus. I don't think you see it as being reckless either. So it leads me to just wonder, Taurus, like, what's going on here? Why do we have this resistance here in the first place, right? Because I'm seeing this as you're wanting this. I'm seeing this as somebody who is at least able to um, identify how good it would be for them, I'll say. Now, the Nine of Pentacles tried to come out as well. Did this kind of try to come out? No, I guess it didn't try to come out. I guess we'll just address it. Yeah, it doesn't even, I guess it doesn't even matter since y'all can't even see my cards. Um, but I guess we'll, Spirit wants to talk about this Nine of Pentacles next. Now, when it comes to this card, right, it always is like people generally talk about how um, in this dynamic, it's about being self-sufficient. Um, it is usually an energy where it's like you're only just relying on yourself and just to yourself generally. But um, and it also is like you listening to your own intuition um, and grabbing at the thing like the pentacle that uh is right for you, right? You're not grabbing at the largest one. You're not grabbing at the most whatever, right? You're going for the one that is like, you feel like it's right for you. Now, I like to go a little bit deeper with this card personally, Taurus, because I don't know, I feel like I fluff. Honey, I'm gonna be honest, Taurus, I'm a mess. <laughs> so don't mind me. But I'm, I always like to go deeper with this card, Taurus, because I see this as this individual. This It's usually in any type of tarot deck. You'll see like an animal, usually it's a bird, um, around the Nine of Pentacles where they're trying to guide them or they're just with them, picking out the pentacle. Now, what's unique in this deck is because it seems as if the owl, I believe it's an owl. Yeah, an owl. It looks like a barn owl. Uh, I love owls. Um, but I don't know. If it, no matter. Um, Essentially, it's almost like the, in this deck, it's like the spirit is trying to distract from my cat now, is trying to guide you and show you which one it is to take. And again, it's not the most flashy one. It's not the most colorful one. It's not the most prom look, promising looking one, but is the one for you. It is the one for you, right? So let's go into this a little bit deeper and see what's going on. Take these. Okay, so Taurus, we have the Six of Pentacles coming in, or not Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands for you. We have the Six of Pentacles for you. I guess, yeah, you yeah, have the Six of Pentacles as well. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands, or Pentacles, honey, uh, following you for your clarifier of the Nine of Pentacles, remember. And then you have the Knight of Wands. So Taurus, it's really Spears trying to have you hone in on the message of the Nine of Pentacles and what I was talking about. Now, let me see if the bird is, yeah, the bird is even in this one as well. Um, show where, just my point from earlier. And in this deck, it's like this individual is listening to the bird or at least looking towards the bird. And, um, almost as if like looking for guidance, Taurus. So I can't help but just get this urge to uh, tell some of y'all, Taurus, to, uh, you know, normally like my usual sh uh, spiel or shtick is to tell people to connect to their spirit guides because that's just the foundation of what I started my spirituality with. But um, I do get this strong sense that some Taurus's like ancestors are coming in. Um, and when I say ancestors, I kind of want to just like like, I feel it almost as if they're, like, part of your life, like, at some point already. Does that make sense? Because I know when it comes to ancestors, some people can think back, back like, hundreds, thousands of years. I feel like if this is someone that you had an initial connection with at some point. Or um, you just always have had a deep connection with them in a spiritual sense. But they do feel, like, intertwined um, in a decent way. Uh, but maybe that won't resonate with anybody. Uh, so continuing on with this message, though, I apologize. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, Six is following you, I can't help but tell you as well, uh, Taurus, to write down the number six to look up for numerology later, just because of how Six is following you in this reading, as well as the Knight of Wands. So you're continually having knights following you as well. Um, knights, uh, the common theme here is like knights, um, the Nine of Pentacles and the Pages. A lot of new energy, but it's all associated around you and like almost like your spiritual, like 
I feel like it, this encompasses more than just like spiritual, um, I mean, maybe this message in, in its entirety is just like a spiritual message for some of y'all, but I do feel like this is covering more than just a spiritual sense of where it's like you going out onto this like physical journey, you like choosing to move, you choosing to change jobs, you know, in this sense, it's almost like you get a better, you get a better sense of who you are, what's going on with yourself, and just learning more about yourself. Now, with this dynamic, Taurus, this is one of those things of where I'm gonna give some of you guys a hard time here. And this is not because, like, I'm not trying to chastise you, this is more so me just looking at the dynamic of the cards, right? With the knights, it's always youthful energy, right? And so this is kind of, it's not as refined. Like, we're not getting any, like, mature energy in here. Like, we have your higher fence, you have your connected to your higher self, but we already talked about before, Taurus, how it doesn't really quite feel like you're listening to your higher self too much. Um, but what I'm trying to get at with this, I'm not calling you yourself immature, Taurus, obviously not. But it's in this dynamic where, in this sense of the journey of where you're at energetically, um, it seems to be like all just like new energy. Like this doesn't seem to be in like your element, right? Or it's, we would see like some kings or queens in the suit. At least that's how I see it as. So this is not something that you've are used to. This is like still all treading into new territory and not something that's definitely 100% in your comfort. Like you don't feel quite in your element with this. And so I say all this to say, Taurus, is to um, whatever decision you make, because again, I'm not telling you to make any type of decision. Um, make sure that you don't just go heavy handed with one way. Right, and I know this is coming off as my Libra Scorpio uh, zodiac sign with the talk of balance, but I talk about it more so just with like it seems almost like you could want something so bad that you almost feel the need to have like your hands in every bit of the crevice of it and trying to be so controlling of it, not really letting things grow. And you know, there's a phrase I wanted to say. Um, it's I don't remember where where it's even coming from and where I heard it before, but it's just one of those things of just like leave some room for Jesus, right? Regardless of whatever it is that you believe in, I know a lot of people on my channel don't. Um, aren't just Christians, but <laughs> it's a phrase of leave some room for Jesus to move. And in that concept, it's essentially just telling you, Taurus, to just allow some space for the universe to spit, for your spirit guides, or whatever it is you choose to believe in. Allow there to be some wiggle room and allow things to grow without too much control. Um, you can still oversee your things, but don't be so obsessive about feeling the need to be so hands-on. So let's continue on with this message. We have the Four of Cups coming in here. So this is what I was talking about before. This is where it's just like you see some type of opportunity, situation, potential path that you could go down, but then you kind of are at the standstill with it. So let's look at these clarifiers that we have following with this. We have the Six of Wands following you, Taurus. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Five of Swords, and then we have the, is this Page of Wands? It's Page of Wands again. So it's confirming, you. this is what you're looking at as the Four of Cups, right? You're looking at the situation of where it's like, I just can't help but feel like there's just like this afraid of taking action towards this new opportunity. Is it just because like you would have to transition from certain people with this Five of Swords? Taurus, would you have to like leave certain things that you still hold some type of attachment or addiction to, right? Even if you know it's not good for you, maybe just the idea of disconnecting from that drama is kind of intimidating, right? Um, with this Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands, though, it is almost just like this decision, seemingly like decision on, I don't want to say decision because I don't see you having your mind made up, but it's almost just like this choice to not just chase after something that you know would be extremely good for yourself because here's the thing with the nine of cups as well this is another emphasis on um how it, it just is right for you right same with that nine of pentacles it's all choices that's kind of like maybe for some of you tauruses you've been struggling with feeling selfish right because I, guess, I definitely can see understand like why you would come off like why you would have those kind of thoughts with the, the, the dynamic of these cards so um, we're going to get into, right now, the world card for you, 
Taurus. Now this is the cycles, right? This is like, are you choosing to break this cycle to go into a new cycle or what's tea, right? What's going on here? So the clarifiers that we have for you, Taurus, we have the Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and then we have the uh, Ace of Swords. So confirming to me what I was saying before, you prop some of you Tauruses don't like the idea that you would have to move walk away from certain things, um, you, certain things that you could argue bring you stress and like or whatever. But you could also find excuses as to why you enjoy their company. But you know, I mean, it's not my place to tell you how to think about things. But it's one of those things that when you when are you going to put yourself first in importance? Because it seems like until you put yourself first, Taurus, that's where I'm going to be a little bit blunt. Probably step on some toes here. I see you kind of stuck in the same loop until then, right? Some of you guys might have been in the same cycle, some type of cycle for years where you may, you choose to stay at this one job, you choose to live at this one house just for somebody else when in actuality, you're just choosing to put your life on pause, right? Because there's something completely, like there's some, I'm getting this sense towards that there's something with this four of wands and this ace of swords, there is something that you could just like, some opportunity that you could grab at that's in your space, and if it's not, it's coming, that would really, um, that just gives, like, that would change things up for you. And so then we go into your final card with this Ace of Swords, right, following you as well. There's something here and that you have your mind on as well. I don't know if this is like an idea that you've been swirling around with in your head, Taurus. I don't know if it's just something that you've been contemplating for a while, but you're fully aware of it. You're fully aware of some type of idea, something that could, some type of like escape plan, right? And I say escape plan in the sense of where it's just like escaping from this old life or this old way of this old cycle is something, right? Again, could be about one specific aspect of your life, facet of your life, could be about your entire life. It's just a general reading. So your clarifiers for your Ace of Swords, my beautiful Taurus, is the Five of Pentacles, as well as the Seven of Wands, and then the Devil card. So a lot of you, Tauruses, this is speaking about person. A lot of you, you don't want to give this tough love to, right? Tough love to this devil, right? Now, the devil makes this seem like such an, an aggressive energy. But it, I, again, kind of want to speak from a sense of giving people the benefit, giving like things that the benefit of the doubt, right? So it's just like, we'll just say that not necessarily toxic, but just not fitting for you in your life, we'll say, right? Because it does bring you some, this devil, whether it's a habit, whether it's a person, what have you, um, it's bringing you anxiety with this five of pentacles. It's not making you feel good. Yeah, I don't feel like you even quite know where you stand with them ever, right? With the seven of wands here. It's almost just like, you want them to like you or you want them to care about you but this is such a random side message i probably should just stop but i'll just let it flow before i just cut it off but it's just almost like there's some type of dynamic that you want to make it work but it's almost like seemingly like you not you're not sure if they even want to have it work side message but just so i apologize for that i don't know where that came from but there is just some type of resistance here that like you definitely don't feel wonderful in it but there is something for some reason that gets you in the sense of where it's just like you still want it to work out in some way it's almost just like for some of you tauruses it's just like ah if it just worked out in this way then you would be perfectly fine staying here you wouldn't need you wouldn't feel the need to move on so it's like you want to just give this like a bunch of chances hmm Uh, well, Taurus, let me know how this turns out for you. And that is all the cards that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to give a comment in the comments below what card resonated with you and how it did. And also, I do all the zodiac signs for their weekly general tarot readings. So if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, be sure to share my videos with them. And maybe they'll find a message that resonates as well. Until next time, my beautiful Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.